All right, y'all, so as you can see behind me, I have this clover food plot, which has been established for roughly five years. So it's coming to an end in its life cycle. As you can see, there's a lot of grass competition in here. So I have taken the executive decision to go ahead and till it under and start new with some fusion from Whitetail Institute. Now, some of y'all may be wondering, well, why don't you just spray the food plot um, instead of trying to just get under and start new, you can go ahead and try to spray and keep up what you have. Well, like I said, it's already been here for five, going on five years. So as it should be getting, coming to an end here before you know it. And plus I figured I'm gonna be spraying those weeds anyways. So why not just start with something new and deal with those weeds throughout the summer by mowing and using some of the products such as a rest max that um, Whitetail Institute provides specifically for these perennial food plots. I think I'm not gonna have any trouble getting this to establish given the weather. Um, now if we don't get any rain, I might just shoot myself in the foot. I might be sitting here during turkey season wondering why I ever tilled this under. But I think being the end of February right now, um, their guidelines say for this area, we're in the Piedmont of Virginia. I can go ahead and plant anytime from February 15th through I believe April 1st. So it's the end of February, I'm right in that time zone. And the weather has been awesome. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow, pretty solid rain tomorrow. So I shouldn't have any trouble getting moisture down in this bottom. And I'm excited to have y'all follow me along as I go through this trial and error. Because I know if anybody else is out, out there is like me, they've wanted to plant a perennial food plot in the spring, such as clover, to see if they could have some turkey hunting success because they're not only focused on deer, they're focused on everything. So I'm gonna be able to show y'all my success or my failure. So stick with me, should be fun. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show y'all what I'm talking about when I say that the weed competition is almost too much for this food plot. And by the time I spray it, it's probably gonna leave gigantic holes where I'd have to come in and overseed anyways. So I'm just gonna go back and till it all under. So I'll show y'all a bad spot such as this right here. As you can see, this was all once clover, but it got taken over by this grass. And if I were to come in here and spray it, you can see there's clover underneath there. I mean, here's clover, and there's a little thing of clover. So you can see there's some new clover germinating, popping up. When you get underneath of here, it's just not, not enough. So this stuff is stubborn as it is anyways, and I've had difficulty spraying it and killing it. And I'm just gonna disc it all under, till it with that rotary tiller, and then just start new. That way this clover, I think, has a better chance of establishing itself. Um, I have planted a clover plot <coughs> like this before, and it actually blew up and did really well. Now we had some good conditions, so that may have something to do with it, but I think that I can make this a successful food plot given that I help it as much as I possibly can with fertilizer and spraying with the arrest max that they use. I'm gonna go ahead, set the camera up where I can get a good angle of the field and hopefully be able to do some sort of time lapse where y'all can see it. I'm gonna to try to till this as best as I can. I have a nice, nice day, plenty of time. So we're just gonna get some tractor hours in. Should be fun.
right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive the tractor around to smooth the seed bed with just the tires, that's what I got. Um, Cause I'm afraid that with the small seed, that it's gonna fall down into the cracks and then if I go back over top of it, it's gonna be buried too deep. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to smooth it out with the tractor tires as best as I can. And then I'll go back over top with the seat. So now that is a well-prepared seed bed right there. Nice and flat. Who said you need a freaking cultivator? packer? It would be very nice to have. Um, I would like to get one, but I don't feel like spending the money on it. So I just use the tires and go around a million times. Anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and spread the seed out. And I haven't made the decision if I'm going to uh, spray some glyphosate on it or not. I feel like the, cult, uh, the tiller did the job as killing everything. But I also would hate for this uh, seed to have some competition coming in with some grass and I didn't kill it. So I have plenty of time to think. I'm going to go ahead and get spread. That. Boom. Well, this behind me is what it's going to be. I'm not, I shouldn't say skeptical, but I'm always a little worried whenever I plant a new food plot or do something like this where I have something grown already and then I killed it basically nuked it. I just, it did end up spraying some glyphosate out here. Since there was a lot of grass still out here, I didn't want any of it coming back. And I know that some of that clover may have came back, but I didn't think it was worth it. But I think it looks awesome. This seed bed, I, I mean, using the tractor to drive around worked just fine. Um, I'll go ahead and show y'all. So this is what the, the seeds look like right here. So you can see, I mean, they're real tiny. Um, they're real tiny and they shouldn't have any problem getting pushed into the ground with this nice rain we're gonna get tomorrow. Um, I believe we're supposed to get a quarter of an inch and then some 70 degree weather and then I think another big rainstorm on Thursday. So I think um, we'll have some good germination coming up and I'm hoping this food plot turns into a productive spot to kill a turkey. This food plot pretty much is always meant for the deer. That's what it started out as but as time has gone I've noticed that the turkeys feel much more comfortable out here than the deer do. Um, partially that's just because there's a road 100 yards up not even probably 75 right behind my uh, ground blind. But those turkeys love to come out here and strut, especially when the sun's out. They come out here and get a bite to eat. And every year I have turkeys out here strutting around. So I'm hoping maybe I can kill one over this food plot because that just makes it that much sweeter. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it's going to be pretty long.
sorry about the plane as I was saying I hope y'all enjoyed the video and maybe learned something either something you didn't know or learned from one of my mistakes we'll see how that turns out in about a month or two please uh, like and subscribe you can go follow me on Instagram at going with Gus and as always gotta get going